Hey everybody, I'm Michael Moriarty from moregems.com and tanzaniteJewelryDesigns.com. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about how to clean your colored gemstone jewelry at home. So colored gemstone jewelry is going to be a little bit more delicate than diamonds. So we're going to go over a few methods that are safe to clean your colored gemstone jewelry. The first being something that we use all the time here, uh, which is just your standard uh, Dawn dish detergent. It cleans ducts and it'll clean your jewelry too. And a bowl of water. So these two things are really my go-to thing when I'm cleaning something that needs a little bit of extra care. And at home, almost everybody has this stuff. So w say when I have a, a piece of tanzanite. Now this can go in the ultrasonic cleaner um, on occasion, which we'll get to that. But if you have this at home, you can just take your Dawn dish soap and water and soft bristle toothbrush. So we'll just go ahead and I'll just pour a little bit of uh, dish detergent in there. We'll swish it around. And then so you can see here, this one's not super dirty, but sometimes, you know, over time you'll get lotion buildup under the head or if you're um, putting on hand sanitizer, perfumes, things like that. Uh, it can start to cloud up the stone, the surface of it. So this mixture of Dawn dish soap and warm water, you don't want it super hot because you don't want to shock the stone. So just warm is good. And then have a towel down because you don't want to drop it down the sink. I wouldn't recommend doing it over a drain. Make sure a soft towel is down, not on a hard countertop. And then you just kind of gently try and get under that gallery and on the stone itself. And you'll just kind of keep applying and then working it at all different angles. And you'll just kind of go through and scrub at it. Now, you don't want to go too crazy at it. You don't want to crank at it because you don't want to catch one of these prongs and pull it back. So just be gentle and just work your way around. You can rinse it off in the the water and come back and just keep going until you think you're good and then you can do the shank scrub that around too this will get some of the diamonds this one has really small diamonds in there you can try and work at those a little bit and then once you're done rinse that off and you can find a sink but like I said make sure that drain is closed and you'll just want to rinse it off And that is probably the best way to do it at home. Uh, just because all of these things you should have at home. Um, maybe not the extra toothbrush. I wouldn't recommend brushing your teeth after that. Um, but that'll do it. And this works for all different gems. I've got, so this one's a tanzanite. I've got a tourmaline here. Uh, garnets. Emeralds. And you can do your diamonds too. So this method is safe for all of them. Uh, you can do it with your earrings, pendants, anything. And this will get almost all of it clean for you. Now there may be some hard to reach places that you will need to take into your jeweler and put it in, have them put it in an ultrasonic and get it totally clean. But if you're about to go out for the night and you want to you know, spruce it up a little bit, this is the best, me excuse me, the best method. So um, that was the first method that I think works 90% of the time. Uh, if you want to go to the next level, that would be getting an ultrasonic cleaner at home. And now this machine here, it will do what we just did and also get into those hard to reach places like with the diamonds and things like that. Um, and the way this machine works is it has a on button here and it starts to create just a really, let's see, shaking action, uh, ultrasonic shaking action in there. And you can just kind of hang your rings from here and let it set. I think it's got an eight minute timer on there. You run it, let it set, and then uh, you can come back if you want it to, you know, it's not quite getting where you want it. You can go back to the Dawn dish soap and uh, toothbrush. Now, 
uh, mentioning this, I should also say that not everything can go in this machine. So the Dawn dish soap, that should take care of almost everything um, with the exception of some opals that are hydrophane. You gotta do, you gotta be a little bit more careful there. So just make sure you know what you're working on. There are certain gems that you do wanna avoid in there. Uh, tanzanite, garnet, diamond, no problem. Should all be pretty good. And I believe they send you a list with it. If not, just ask us in the comments section. I'll tell you whether it's gonna work or not. Um, so yeah, that's the ultrasonic cleaner, which is a great addition if you want clean jewelry all the time. Um, now that we've talked about the Dawn dish soap and the ultrasonic cleaner, those things will clean the, the jewelry, but it's not gonna polish the metal. Um, and generally, I would just recommend you taking your jewelry, especially if it's a, you know, you invested any money into it, take it to your local jeweler, whoever that may be, and, and have it professionally done. But if you want to do it at home and you want something quick to shine it up just a little bit, I would recommend one of these polishing cloths. So this is just, this has been heavily used. We use it quite often and mostly on chains because chains are a little bit more difficult to polish. Um, but if you have, say, a solid gold band or your shank is solid, it doesn't have any finish on it because this will remove some finishes, you'll just want to just kind of rub it on there. This is the rouge area. So once you kind of go through and just work at it a little bit, it should brighten the metal up and then you can come back around. Normally yours won't look quite as dirty as ours, but uh, you know, we're in a workshop, so we use it. Um, and then you just kind of come back and it should give it a little shine. So um, if that is something you're interested, that's another method. Otherwise, like I said, you know, you've brought it to me, we could put a light polish on it, shine it up, no problem. And usually for us, it takes, you know, 15, 20 minutes. So um, those are the three best options to clean your jewelry at home. If you start to hear about, you know, toothpaste, ketchup, or whatever else is going on, you may want to think twice about it, especially if you invested any money into your, your piece of jewelry, because that is something that we don't have in the shop. Um, these are actually the three things that we do use. Um, one thing I did not mention was how to clean up some tarnish on silver rings. So a lot of the times if it's just solid silver ring, no stones or anything in it, we'll use this silver cleaner. This one looks like it's by Haggerty, but there's probably other brands out there that you can use. Um, colored stones in there. I'm not too sure how well they'll fare in this. Um, so that I don't know about, but if it's just a solid silver ring, you can, what you want to do is, so I've got uh, silver mounting here. This one's not mounted, doesn't have stone in it, but um, you just pop it in here and you'll just want to put this in here for maybe 20 seconds and that'll be it. You don't want to leave this in here. I've had customers that leave it in there overnight it does not do good things to the ring so just very short period of time and then you can rinse it off we've got our soap and water solution here um, and then you know you can brush it a little bit and if you need to get into harder reach places you can kind of dip your toothbrush in that silver cleaner and then go at it with the cleaner but like i said you don't want to keep this on there for a lengthy period of time just a very short period of time and then that should take off some of that tarnish for you okay so and one last thing so if you're not comfortable with doing any of these things and you just prefer to take your jewelry to a cleaner um, or uh, to a jeweler to have it cleaned and you have fairly large colored gemstones in your ring just like this uh, tanzanite the garnet this tourmaline you're going to want to let them know that these need special care so what they're generally gonna use is an ultrasonic cleaner, which we have one, um, and this thing gets really hot. You know, if it's on for a lengthy period of time during the day, it gets so hot that colored gemstones don't like sudden heat change. So if they go and put your tanzanite in there and it's ultra hot, it could end up causing heat shock and damage the stone. Uh, the other thing you're gonna want to let them know is uh, tell them not to steam your ring. Uh, 
they do it a lot with diamonds. Diamonds, no problem. I can steam this thing all day. It's fine. I take this tanzanite and I put it under that steamer. Uh, it could, again, cause a heat shock and it will destroy the stone. So steam, it's just a high powered, really hot steam. And that usually, it just, it, it cleans diamonds really well. Um, but for colored stones, you don't want that at all. So it's just too much of a risk. Uh, so yeah, if you take it in, just let them know that and your jewelry should be fine. So if you have any questions about cleaning your colored gemstone jewelry, please feel free to leave it in the comments section. Uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Uh, so thanks again for watching. I'm Mike Moriarty from moregems.com and tanzanitejewelrydesigns.com.